calculators all over the place. We have actual calculators, we have calculators on our phones, we have calculators in Windows, apps we can download. But did you know that Microsoft Word actually has a calculator built in? It does. So let's take a look at it. Word's calculator is nothing fancy, but you can perform any basic arithmetic operation anywhere within Word. So where is this calculator? Well, you actually need to add it to the Quick Access Toolbar. It's kind of hidden deep within Word. So this is my Quick Access Toolbar, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click, Customize Quick Access Toolbar, and where it says Choose Commands From, click the drop-down arrow, and we want Commands Not In The Ribbon. I'm going to scroll down till I see Calculate, select it, click on Add, and now I have added it to my Quick Access Toolbar, click on OK, and there it is right there. You can see it's grayed out because it's not ready to use. It doesn't know what it's supposed to use it for. So what does this calculator do? The calculator handles addition, subtraction, it multiplies, it divides, it does percentages, exponentiation, and roots. Let's try this out. If I were to type 2 plus 2, select the text, click on my calculate icon, I'm going to see in my status bar that the calculation is 4. As you notice there, it is temporary, but what happens is it also copies it to Windows Clipboard. So then I can paste that result anywhere within my document. Control V and there's my result there. So you notice I did 2 plus 2 and I did not have an equal sign. You do not need to use an equal sign. And if you omit the operator, if, if I did not put this plus in here, the calculator assumes you want to add the numbers. So let's say I were to type 1, 2, 3, space, 4, 5, 6, space, 7, 8.9, Word is going to assume that I want to add these numbers together. So again, I select the numbers, click on my Calculate icon, and I can see that the result is 657.9. Again, that is copied to my clipboard, and I can paste that in the document or in any other document that I'm working on. The calculator works anywhere. You can even use the calculator on the following sentence. At the meeting, there were five realtors, two health experts, and one MS Word nerd. If I select this sentence, again, click on my calculate icon, the answer is 8. Something to keep in mind, though, if your text includes any special characters, you might get a wrong calculation. You can also use the calculator to total up numbers in a table. Let's take a look at that. Something to take note of is that although it is possible to select numbers in non-adjacent cells in a table by holding down the control key, the calculator will not give you a correct total. Your selection must contain contiguous cells, rows, or columns. So if I were to select 1, hold down my control key, and select 9, click on my calculate icon, Notice that the answer is 9, which is incorrect. So I do have to select a continuous row, column, or the entire table. The calculator does use parentheses to determine the order of calculations in more complex expressions. For example, if I were to type 2 plus 2 times 2 minus 3, the result is 3. However, if I were to type 2 plus 2 in parentheses times 2 minus 3, I'm using the same numbers, but now I have parentheses around the first two. Click my Calculate icon. Now my result is 5. How does Word handle negative numbers? You can either use the minus sign 
or you can put it in parentheses. So if I were to do a negative 5 minus 5, select that text, click on my calculate icon, negative 10. I can put 5 in parentheses, minus 5, select that text, click my calculate icon, and it's still in negative 10, but it's in parentheses where it's showing my result. And there you have it, Words Calculator. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to have an electronic version of this video, please click the link down in the comments. See you in the next video.